So what I would thought I would do is I'd take a look at one of the practice problems and go through this from the perspective of helping you understand the flow of the kind of problems that you're going to see. So this is problem 225. If you're looking in your book, this is page 77. And what we have here is Jay Bryant is a local coat retailer. The store accountants is preparing the following income state information. So what you see here is we have sales, cost of goods, gross margin, and then we have our selling and administrative expenses. What we see here is that Brian sells its coats for $250 each. Selling expenses consist of fixed cost plus a commission of $650 per coat. Administrative expenses consist of a fixed cost plus a variable component of 5% per sales. So in a problem like this, what we're attempting to do first off is to merge this information from our typical accounting information that we see. What we see here is information that we would see generally in a, an income statement that's uh, formatted according to generally accepted accounting principles. But what we wanna do is we wanna format this and separate out the variable cost from the fixed cost. Now, what we see here is uh, that the coats sell for $250 each. One of the first things that we wanna do is we wanna find out how many coats that we actually sold. This becomes very important as we go through the calculations. So what we see here is that we have revenue of $750,000 each coat was sold for $250. So simply going $750,000 divided by 250 gives us that we actually sold 3,000 coats. Now this is not $3,000, but this is actually 3,000 coats as in the number of units, okay? So what I have over here is what we're trying to figure out are the variable cost as well as the fixed cost. So let's just kind of go through this and uh, make sure that we understand what's taking place. So the first thing to, that we can assume is that the cost of goods sold is going to be 100% variable cost. So our variable cost related to cost of goods sold is $300,000. Okay, now let's look at our sales expense. So our sales expense is $23,560. What we see here is the selling expense consists of a fixed cost plus a commission of $6.50 each. So the variable portion of the sales expense is going to be 6.5 times the number of units. So hence, this is why we absolutely need to understand how many units that we sold so that we can do the complete calculation. Okay, so our variable selling expense is $19,500. Our total selling expense is $23,560. So what we wanna do is we want to put the remainder over here into fixed cost. So it's going to be our selling expense minus our variable cost so our fixed cost here is $4,060. Now the administrative expense is, you notice here, it says administrative expense consists of a fixed cost plus a variable component equal to 5% of sales. So the administrative is, so we're going to go 5% times our sales, which is $750,000 which is $37,500. And then the difference is going to go to fixed cost. So our fixed cost is our $49,500 minus our $37,500. And we have this here. Okay, so our total variable cost is $357,000. Our total fixed cost is $16,060. Okay, so we're gonna convert this into a contribution margin format. And again, the contribution margin format is where we're looking at our sales minus variable cost equals contribution margin, and then minus fixed cost is, and we come up with our net income, which should be the same net income that we have. If it's not, it means that we made a 
mistake. Sales is $750,000, okay? Variable cost is our total variable cost, which is $357,000. So our first thing here is contribution margin, which is 750 minus 357, and coming up with 393. Our fixed cost is $16,060. And then what we're going to have is our net income. And our net income is going to be 393 minus $16,060. And 376,940, which is 376,940. Now, when we look at this here, one of the things that we want to think about is what is the contribution margin per unit? Because this is going to flow into the additional information that we need. So what we have is we have 750 divided by the number of units, and we already said the number of units was 3,000. So it's 250 minus our variable cost, which is 119, and then we have our contribution margin of 131. And then our fixed cost is, we don't actually use the fixed cost in terms of a per unit uh, basis, but the idea is that now we have the variables that we can do the calculation. Say we want to do a break-even point. So the break-even point is that what we have is our contribution margin, 131, and our fixed cost is $16,060, and we can easily come up with a uh, break-even point, which is simply the fixed cost divided by our 131. So we have a break-even point of uh, about 123 units. Okay, so I hope this helps, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to do a few more of these as time goes on. And uh, best wishes to the course. Thank you.